throughout its 4.5 billion year long existence, Earth has experienced planetary collisions, asteroid bombardments and endured multiple ice ages. It's been a tumultuous journey but, astonishingly, our blue planet has persevered through it all. Amazingly, we as humans have survived too. Join us as we delve into Earth's journey from its beginnings as cosmic space dust all the way to becoming a home planet to 8 billion people. Four point six billion years ago, a giant cloud of gas and dust came together to form a massive spinning disk. This enormous gas cloud is known as the Solar Nebula, and it became the basis of our Sun and all of the planets in our solar system. This nebula eventually collapsed under its own gravity, spinning faster and faster and flattening into a disk as this took place. Around 99.8% of the material within this nebula was then pulled toward the center and formed our Sun. Much of the remaining material broke away and went on to form the planets, moons and the other objects that now orbit our Sun in our solar system. As they gathered more matter, they took on spherical shapes. In the colder regions of the solar system, the masses of material were icy, liquid and gaseous. These formed the outer planets. Closer to the Sun, rocky masses of material created the inner planets like Mars and Earth. Young Earth was highly active volcanically, releasing gases such as hydrogen sulfide, methane and carbon dioxide, forming its initial atmosphere. This period of time in the Earth's history is known as the Hadean Eon. Early Earth also faced frequent bombardments from large asteroids and comets. Then, an estimated 4.51 billion years ago, it is theorized that a colossal collision occurred when a Mars-sized planet impacted Earth. This planet has now become known as Theia, and it is thought that its massive impact scattered matter around Earth's orbit, eventually coalescing through gravity to form the Moon as we know it today. Initially, Earth was hot with no oceans. The only water it contained was in the form of gas, but during a period known as the Archean Eon, the planet cooled, allowing water to condense and form the first primitive ocean, which transformed Earth into a water world. This water was a catalyst in the emergence of life, which appeared in the form of microscopic organisms. After its water world phase, Earth saw the emergence of its first continents, known as Cratons. As more land rose from the ocean, the initial supercontinent, Valbara, formed. Valbara wasn't particularly large, believed to be smaller than the continent of Australia. At this stage, the Earth's atmosphere was mostly methane and nitrogen. The only life forms that could exist were anaerobic cyanobacteria which are sometimes known as blue-green algae. They were called anaerobic because they could metabolize their food without oxygen. Cyanobacteria carried out photosynthesis as they metabolized their food. The waste product of this was released oxygen, which eventually got released into the atmosphere. As oxygen levels rose, some of it combined with methane to create carbon dioxide. This methane was keeping the planet warm, but as the carbon dioxide levels increased, the Earth cooled. This triggered a massive glaciation event, a global ice age. It is estimated that in this time frame, a massive supercontinent called Rodinia formed. It is thought that this massive land mass would have been entirely barren seeing as it existed before complex life colonized dry land. At this time, it is thought that Rodinia began to split into pieces. These parts would all come together again 100 million years later as the next supercontinent, Panosia. But Panosia was short-lived and only lasted 50 million years. However, it is thought that the breakup of Panosia created shallow seas, which provided the right habitats for the evolution of new life forms. 
These new environments and conditions paved the way for an event known as the Cambrian Explosion. This was a time where life evolved and became more complex. A wide variety of animals came into existence in perhaps as few as 10 million years. Marine animals evolved into most of the basic body forms that we see in modern groups. Among the organisms we have discovered in fossils from this time are relatives of crustaceans, starfish, sponges, mollusks, worms and algae. A climate shift and dramatic ocean temperature change led to Earth's first mass extinction event known as the Ordovician Silurian Extinction. A drop in sea levels occurred as glaciers formed, which was then followed up with rising sea levels as the glaciers later melted. During this extinction event, approximately 85% of species of marine animals were lost. During the Devonian period, Earth witnessed the emergence of its first trees. These early trees resembled conifers. Life began to appear on land too in the form of early insects and spiders. Pangaea, probably the most well-known supercontinent, covered the entire planet in this era. This period also saw the most significant mass extinction event in history, known as the Great Dying. No class of life was spared from the devastation. Roughly 9 in 10 marine species and 7 in 10 land species vanished. Life on our planet almost came to an end. Scientists have suggested many possible causes for the Great Dying, including severe volcanism, environmental changes due to the formation of the Pangaea supercontinent, or even a large asteroid impact event. During the Jurassic period, the dinosaurs roamed the Earth. They ruled for the next 150 million years. It is thought that the largest of these was the Titanosaur. Size estimates based off fossilized bones are an enormous animal weighing in at 77 tons and 122 feet long. During the Jurassic period, the continent Pangaea split into two major continents, Laurasia and Gondwana. This division opened up what would eventually become the Gulf of Mexico and the Atlantic Ocean. It is widely thought that an asteroid struck Earth near present-day Mexico, releasing massive debris into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun. This catastrophic event caused drastic climate changes, leading to the extinction of the dinosaurs. As new animals emerged, mammals became more widespread. The earliest known humans, known as Sahelanthropus, began to walk the Earth at this time. Their brain size was about the size of modern chimpanzees, and they were likely still moving on all fours. Early humans started walking upright and, around one million years later, they developed the first known tools that they used for breaking things. Humans discovered how to control fire, which provided them with warmth and a means of cooking. Their brains evolved rapidly and they learned to interact socially with each other and the world. Between 40,000 to 15,000 years ago, all other human species except Homo sapiens went extinct. We are unsure why, but experts believe that it may have been a combination of reasons ranging from competition for food, disease or environmental changes all playing a role. About 10,000 years ago, the earliest farmers emerged. These once nomadic humans settled down and began cultivating the land. The advent of the Industrial Revolution marked a significant shift from economies based on farming and handicrafts to industrial economies driven by machinery and factories. This brought significant technological, economic and social changes along with triggering the growth of urban centers, changes in living conditions and shifts in work patterns. Our human population has been growing rapidly ever since. In 1804 it reached 1 billion, then 2 billion by 1927. And today, less than 100 years later, the global population is four times higher at over 8 billion people. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing. Please also share your thoughts, theories and speculations in the comment section below. We would love to hear from you. Thank you for watching.